Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome back to some more Pirate 101. So, last time we were doing some stuff on the Isle of Fetch, and we have a quest turn in, I'm pretty sure. Because we finished up that hotel area, which was, you know, kind of a dungeon, kind of not. Uh, yeah, I would call it a dungeon, in a way. Really, the... Possibly we can get this 3200, that'd be nice. But uh, I guess we'll see. Let's head over to the Admiral here. What the devil do you mean the food's too good? There we go. Great Dane! You mean to say the Kyrgyz won't budge until we've made their food taste worse? I wouldn't have thought it possible to make army food any worse. Well, it's up to you then. Get to the manufacturer and get this sorted out. We need every last one of the Kyrgyz to repel the Armada offensive. All right, good stuff. So we have to go and help to change their uh, their diet here. Where's this guy at? Where are you again? He's in the Isle of Dogs. We have a teleport back there, I'm pretty sure. Let's use it. And we'll see where this takes us. Uh, I think we're kind of close. I don't know. Still 700 away. But this whole area is the Isle of Dogs, so it's somewhere around here. I'm not sure where that somewhere is. But hopefully we find out. Is it over this way? Isle of Dogs, the cannery. Off to the cannery, wherever that is. Do I have to take my ship to get there? Hmm. Well, I guess we do. Four thousand. Oh no no no! The Isle of Dogs is this is the Isle of Fetch. That the Isle of Dogs is the other one. We're gonna mark here then. So yeah, we went the wrong way. The Isle of Dogs is what this place is called. That one is is the Isle of Fetch. So it makes sense. So we'll take that port back if we need to go to the Isle of Fetch again. Which we probably will because that's kind of where I main objectives are right now. Is in that place. Okay, back here. That got us some decent XP but we're still a ways off of level 60. Can't believe we're almost level 60 already, you know? The max level is 65 so as of right now we're six levels off the max. And we're pretty close to being five levels off the max once we hit level 60. So, I feel like we're making our way, making a lot of progress here. Where's the cannery? It's in here. All right. You need what? Bad food? Oh, well then, we've just the thing. Marley might packed with vitamins and rich in nutrition. It's the food of the future. Problem is, we can't get anyone to eat the vile stuff. Sounds like just what you're looking for. Unfortunately, we haven't got any. We're too busy canning army rations. But take this list to our suppliers and get the ingredients. I'll make up a fresh batch for you. What about the old batches? Why can't we just give them those? Seems like it's all the same to them. I honestly think they wouldn't care. Mr. Tillsworth. Where's this guy at? In here. Have we talked to this guy before? Do I know you? No, we don't. We haven't talked to this guy yet. Hmm. Let's see here. Sky golf fence. Can't help you there, mate. That's ration, that is. Of course, there's plenty of guys out in the skyway, but only a crew at loonies would take their chances out there. <laughs> what would the armada about? Loonies? He must be talking about us. Yeah, I think we can manage. Sister. I think we can manage a few of these gar fish things. Sky gar. Mm -hmm. We'll go find them. See what level they are. See how good these flying fish things are. I think I'm actually in a popular realm for once. That's why I can see other people's pirate ships. For once. 
we're actually in a realm with other people. Because <laughs> in Pirate, it's really easy to find realms that have, like, no people in them. A lot easier than in Wizard. Okay, let's go find these things. Do a battle or two. It's going to take at least two battles, though. So, we'll show the first one. See how it goes. I like Batacudas basically. They're only level 50. Yeah, they're not that good. They think they they may think they're good, but they're probably not. Um, I should just use this on Campo because. Uh, just shoot one of them. Here it goes. Because Campo is this will be really useful for him. There's no ranged opponents unless they can like spit at us or I don't know. I doubt it. I have to wonder how close we are to finishing up, like, Marley Bone, because it doesn't seem like it's that long. However, we haven't even, like, finished Catbeard's thing yet, so that's what we're trying to do, ultimately. But maybe once you do that, then we get close to, and that's, like, towards the end. Who knows? Just from what I've seen so far, it doesn't seem like there's too much left, you know? It doesn't seem like that big of a world. Especially compared to worlds that we're used to. Yeah. Wish it was a decent size. Yeah, Eltor can repost all day. Okay, GG on that guy. Just did no chance. <laughs> he did, he did uh, have a mega hit on him, so he did some good damage there. That was the best thing he had. Okay, we're going to use this. And... Yeah. Have Camp Pogo for this guy. Come on, Campo, where's the blocks? I know you have it in you, somewhere. They're going for Bonnie Ann. Why? She's done like no damage compared to El Toro and Campo. Uh, this is the best AOE I have. <laughs> I'll try it out. Can't hit both of them. And the final relentless to kill him. Let's see if Bonnie Ann can take out this one. That would be awesome. There. Nope. So close burst fire. Of course. 
Watch, he's gonna hit Bonnie Ann now. Or you can hit my character, which doesn't do anything. Okay, good job, Skygar. <laughs> That's probably the worst person you can go for. So, how good is the drop rate? That's the question. Two out of six. It's not too bad. So, what I'm going to do is collect uh, four more of those, and then we will cut back and uh, continue on the mission. No, Toad, don't die! Please! Okay, good. I wasn't really paying attention to El Toro's health in that battle. He must have been getting targeted by like every single Skygar. But we're good now. And this should be the last battle because we only had to collect one. Please. Alrighty then, let's get the next item on the list. Awesome. Hey, we need prunes. Prunes. Yes, prunes. So it took me three extra battles to collect the rest of those. But yeah, we finally got it. My refill health right here. My port's over at the Isle of Fetch. I don't know. I might not need that. I mean, I'll ultimately need it because we're going to take this food once we can make it. That's a really cool pirate ship over there. See that? Yeah, we'll eventually need that port, so I don't know. This isn't too far right now. It wouldn't save that much time. But yeah, let's go and see how hard it is to get prunes next on this guy's shopping list. Prunes? I'm a fishmonger, friend. We have no prunes here. You'll want to talk to Mr. Snodgrass. Runs his own fruit shop, he does. All right, uh, Mr. Snodgrass. <laughs> Interesting name. Do people make fun of it? I'll have to ask him. Good evening to you. Our stock's a bit low, what with the war and all, but we've still got the freshest fruit in Marleybone. What'll it be? Fruit? <laughs> you consider this fruit? What? Prunes? What I wouldn't give for some. My last shipment was snatched straight out of the Skyway. The Lafitte crew it was what done it. Worse smugglers in Marleybone. Black marketeers, eh? In that case, it seems we must have words with Senor Lafitte and his crew. To the Skyway! He sure is enthusiastic, isn't he? I wish it was contagious. Monkey King does not share your enthusiasm. Okay, these are fruits. Yeah, you know, I could see these being fruits. They got some bananas and, you know, tomatoes, oranges, all that. But, what the heck? You have, like, a side business selling fish, too? I mean, you might as well, right? But yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting little store. Okay, I need to head to the docks. Because, uh, we're going to have to find these guys. Defeat some pirate ships basically it's just one of those episodes you know where we had to collect and defeat a lot of stuff that's kind of the feeling i'm getting on this one we have these ones every so often remember the ones we had in mushu as well it was just like oh defeat six of this collect four of this and then go back and collect the same thing no i don't, I don't know if we ever had that i feel like we almost did who are we fighting cat smuggler they're over here somewhere but yeah, we will show like the first fight or so, and then I'll head off and complete this on my own. Is Stormlord? It's pretty good. You could see how much health they had. What do we got? I got that cephalopod and the serpent. At least they're the same cooldown, so I can use them both at the exact same time. I like that. That's useful. Oh. 
And you don't do that much damage, Stormlord. My Serpent does a lot more. Slows his accuracy. I don't even know what slows the target. Like that, He's not even moving. I don't think that's that good. But uh, <laughs> it's what we got for now. He just healed again. Let's heal too. Do some damage. Dang. We're not doing as much damage as I would like. At least we're not half healthy yet. I think we can kill him here, possibly. Oh my gosh, no. Don't board. Okay, there we go. One out of six prunes. If only the the pirate ships could carry more than one prune each. <laughs> so I'm gonna collect more of these. Probably gonna take a little bit. But uh yeah, I'll be back once I collect them. Owls for the last item. Yeast extract. What the devil is that? And where in the spiral do we get it? Calm down. It's just a flavoring agent. Snodgrass will know where we can get some. Back to Snodgrass, of course. These are right here. Yeah, that uh, took a little bit. Had to defeat five more of the uh, enemy cat smuggler ships. And, uh, yep. Basically what I do is I just sit there and farm one ship that keeps respawning. Because they all respawn within, like, you know, a few seconds after you kill it. So, I just find one that's kind of isolated and then just farm it until I collect all the prunes. So, there's that. You need yeast. Well, if there's none here, you spoil all the fruit. You'll be needing a mercantile. Mrs. Peggotty runs the finest on this isle. You mean spoil all the fish? Even though you do have a good amount of fruit, but still, you sell fish too. It's just kind of weird that he doesn't acknowledge that. It's like, oh no, we only sell fruit. It's, it's the fruit shop. <laughs> what is it? Snodgrass is like quality fruits or something? Quality fruits, yep. Okay. What does she sell? Sundries? What's a sundry? Well, aren't you a sight? Don't get many customers like you. What do you need this fine evening? Yeast extract? I should say not. Every last bit of yeast extract has been bought up or stolen by that horrible Lafitte crew. You won't find me dealing with the likes of them. Do I look the type to be hanging about in the sewers? The very idea. If you must have some, you'll have to deal with Lafitte's thugs. Try the warehouses by the docks, but bring plenty of gold. I do not think that will be necessary, Senora. We can be very persuasive when we wish to be. Ooh, I then. Well, I wouldn't shed a tear. That lot could stand a good drubbing. Well, good fortune to you then, ta very much. We're gonna Tritops staff from this? I already owned a Tritops staff at one point. I don't know, I don't really like it that much. I'd rather have my Medusa staff. Looks like you sell the exact same things as the, as the other guys, so maybe they're competing for a business. I forgot that we're level 60. Look at this, look how much XP we've gotten. Even though. This is kind of, you know, boring, like, oh, collect this and that. We're getting a lot of XP, because we're already level 60, and look how close we are to 61. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lafitte's crew at the dock something warehouse. The dock warehouse. But yeah, even though it's kind of a strug, we're uh, raking in the XP here, so... Not bad. Hey, at least we don't have to go and defeat, you know, other pirate ships or collect this or that. I mean, we are technically collecting something, but this seems more fun than what we've been doing, so that's good. Oi, you lot. What do you think you're doing nosing around here, then? This reminds me of Knight's Court in Marleybone, Wizard 101. 
Okay, for cat thugs, I drew absolutely horrible spells. Can I even see anyone? I can see this guy from here. Look at this snipe. Okay, we're gonna snipe him. And we're gonna go for these. Hold on, I need to make sure I delete some stuff here. Uh, that won't be necessary. That is not really that necessary. Wait, did I click the right stuff? I may have failed. No, I think I did. It doesn't matter what Bonnie Ann used, because she wouldn't have been able to hit anyone from that. Well, actually, she may have, but... As long as it is if I use El Toro's buff and can post stealth. That's what all I'm really caring about. Did I get the Kanpo buff? Yes, okay, good. If I miss that, that'd be bad. That'd be really bad. Because we need the Kanpo stealth mode. Some buccaneers and some swashbucklers. There's some buffs. Alright, go for this. And you know what? I'm just gonna move them up a little bit. Yes. No, about a range. Definitely out of range. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit here and next round I'll use my other buff and then they'll probably move close to us and then we'll engage. I actually could have used the other buff first. Which is what I try to do, because that one lasts like five rounds, this one only lasts three. So. What level are they, by the way? 54. Second buff, and start attacking these guys. Go for him. Hmm, should I even? Not yet. We're gonna wait. Uh. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> I haven't seen repel borders used too much. Easy 800 damage on that crit. Can Poe's gonna do more than that? It's gonna do like a thousand. Way more than a thousand. Two super hits in a row. Yeah, you're not gonna survive that. That's intense. I like Overwatch. It's a nice little talent. Because not only that, it can proc into a bunch of other stuff. Like this. <laughs> He's done. Double tap. Yeah, let's just crit all day. Perfectly fine with critting every single time. That'd be great. Ouch. Got some AoE for them this evening, because I'm actually recording this in the evening. And, yeah, let's try to... Hmm. I can't poke over that guy. Yeah, let's do some of that. Uh, Bonnie Ann takes so much aggro. It's kind of funny. You know what? I'm gonna give Bonnie Ann the MVP for that battle. That was awesome. She went ham. No yeast extract up here, Captain. You have to fight those in the back for it. I keep the yeast in the back. Oh hey, more guys. Haha. <laughs> You know what? We're not skipping this one. We're gonna show this battle because it's gonna be so awesome. Wow, look how far away they are. 
This battlefield is huge. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna sit tight for a little bit. It's gonna take them like two turns just to get over here. Look at how far the camera has to zoom to be able to see this spell. That's intense. Some big warehouses. Have fun walking all the way across the battlefield. <laughs> Even Zeus can't make it all the way over there. Oh, it doesn't really matter because I'm not drawing anything useful. So, that's a horrible spell. Uh, should I keep that one? Yeah, for now. For now, we're just gonna sit tight, I guess. Move him up a little bit. Move the Toro up, I guess. Zeus. Going for the area of effect. Uh, okay. I guess we're gonna go like non buff this time because I don't have anything. Dang. How many rounds do you have left of this? I think it's the last round. It doesn't, oh, whatever. It doesn't even matter. They're too far away. I don't have Bonnie and go there. They're too far away. Goodbye, stealth mode. They're really just gonna fight my pet back there? Okay, I'll kill your other friends, your two other friends first. Oh great. <laughs> Useless now. Uh, what do we have? Can I hit both of them with it? No. Uh You know what? This would probably kill him. Okay. Have everyone go for this guy. Out of range. Are they really going for Bonnie Ann? No, okay. He just took a weird route. Let's finish him off. Thank you. some of that. I'm just gonna have everyone go for this guy. Well, I can use this. Ah. 
Really hope there's not another room. You see that it's weird because your pet loses its buff before it attacks on the last round hmm that was interesting just interesting how that works uh can i use this because yep. the pet lost the buff before it attacks so it's like the turn ends and then your pet your pets attack I guess because technically our turn is over, you know? And it's the enemy's turn. I hate turn. to say it, but there does not appear to be any extract back here either. There's a drain over here, Captain. Looks like the cats dragged something through it. Must lead to the sewers. A lot of smugglers hide in the sewers. It'd be easier to keep the extract down there than in the warehouse. We better have a look, Captain. Yeah, we'll have a look in the sewers. I love the sewers. All the the cool stuff and Marleybone happens in the sewers. Lots of smuggler types down here. We best persuade them to tell us where that yeast went to. Okay, is that it for the dungeon? Like we're just in a regular place, aren't we? Yeah, we're just in the Isle of Dogs sewers. So that is gonna be it for this episode. We're gonna end here, and uh, we will continue going through the sewers next time so thank you guys so much for watching uh, make sure you subscribe so you know when the next episodes for power 101 go up and also uh, leave a like on the video if you guys uh, watch the whole thing and uh, you enjoyed it as well so uh, thanks again for watching and i'll see you all next time